Right, perfect. I'm live. So I'm gonna wait for some people to get on. Let me check my sound again. Perfect. All right. I think that's on. All right, let's see. No, I know I gotta wait for some people to come on. So everyone, um, welcome. Um, for everyone that's new here, my name is LaShawn Jenkins with the Notary Institution, and I coach and I mentor Nori Signing Agents on starting a Nori Signing Agent business. So, hey, <laughs> how you doing? I, I've been out the loop. I've been out the loop. Let's see. Let's see. Before we get started, though. So, how you doing? Uh, I know I always mess up, mess up your name. How you doing, Demetria? How you doing, Patience? Miss Jones? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let me see. How y'all doing? Can y'all hear me all right? Let me know. Let me know. I haven't been here in a while, so I don't I don't know if the microphone will work or not anymore. I think it's working. How you doing, Miss Patricia? How you doing, Regina? Oh wow. I have not been here in a while. How you doing, uh Mr. Gary? Facebook user, how you doing? Now, before I get started, guys, just a disclaimer. If you are in the Facebook group right now or on Facebook watching, I cannot see your name, unfortunately. I can't see it. So you have to give StreamYard permission so I can see your name, because I do like to address everybody by their name when they come on to the channel. But I have been out the loop. Hold on real fast. Let me, you know, I got to put my thing up here. There we go. So as you all come in, um, pretty much not a routine, as you all come in, uh, tell me what state you're watching from. Tell me how you've been. Tell me what's going on. Me personally, I just been taking care of my family. That's it. Well, really, just me and my son. So that's really what I have been focusing on, spending more time with him. Um, you know, right now they're out of school. <laughs> so now I don't feel bad being alive right now. I don't feel bad because he don't have school tomorrow and he's going to be up for a while. So what's everyone doing this Thanksgiving? Patrick, Tam. Oh, the Patrick team, Houston, Texas. Okay, Illinois. How you doing, Levine? Long time no see. New Jersey. Yeah, I've been, I've really just been focusing on the kids. I'm just going to be honest. See, that's all I've been doing. And really just focusing on ways to help people, but really focusing on being home for my son, making dinner, you know, responsibilities. <laughs> Uh, who's this? Chris Latrice Ford. I'm gonna mess up your name. I'm not, I'm not gonna bother. Was it Christia? Everyone. So, how many people on here are new notaries? You know, what's your status? I know Demetri, I see you on Clubhouse. Uh, Miss Him. Oh man, I know you told me your name one time. Oof. How you doing? Where what you have going on? Family first. Absolutely. You know, my son is like at the age two, he's, um, he's like transitioning, you know, to a different person, you know? So it's like, I feel like I have to be there more now. Well, I always have to be there, but it's like now, right now, it's like I had, like right now is the time. I'm new. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. I've been a notary since February. Congratulations, Miss. Uh, do you go by Natalie Jean or Nat Jean? Uh, Duncanville, Texas. Okay. How far? Where? What? What is the um? What city are you close to, Miss uh, Patricia? I'm here in Texas myself. We got Dallas in the house. But make sure y'all share this video, guys. Make sure you share this video. So we can get some engagement on here. I have things that I'm going to start off with, but let me, let me, let me, let me pull up my screen. Oh, what is going on with YouTube? Okay. You know what? That's what I'm about to do. Unmute. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we got more people watching on Facebook than YouTube. Now that's unusual. All right, let's go and go through the comments. This is okay. I've been so I've been trying to do too much, but back to the baby, back to signing the agent basics. And look, it is nothing wrong. We're going back to the basics. 
I think that's part of life. You know, sometimes you always have to go back to the basic things in your life, no matter what it is, whether it's business or personal, you always got to go back to the basics, maybe to regroup yourself. You know, sometimes I know me personally, I go back to the, I went back to my family because, you know, that's what's important for me. I can get overwhelmed with work, but you know, the whole point of becoming an entrepreneur is to be able to spend more time with your family and to be able to really spend that time and, on your accord and your schedule. And I had got away from that. So now I am back in balancing my life. So I had to go back, you know, stop my business, you know, so that I can go back to what's important to me. Uh, she says she's in Cali. I'm new. So we have Miss Crystal Stevens. She said, I'm new, had my first signing yesterday and ready to hit the ground running now. Well, Miss Crystal Stevens, this video is for you. This is video is absolutely for you. It's for other people too, but this is absolutely for you. Um, I wanted to make a video today and discuss, you know, what do you do? You know, what are the next steps? You know, after you get your commission and, you know, you got your commission from the state, what do you do next? You know, how do you really get started, you know, as a notary? Um, even if not even you're just new, even if you're someone who has taken a break, you know, um, from the field. And now you're trying to figure out, you know, how to get started because it's different now compared to years ago. You know, I could honestly say this year has changed for everybody. I mean, all the platforms, everything is completely different now compared to what it was years ago. But Miss Crystal Stevens, this video is for you. Um, I'm glad your comment is on here. I might just leave it up there for a second. Um, so in this video, I will discuss, you know, different things that notaries can do, uh, things you could do as a notary, um, and also really where to get started. So the first thing I want to talk about, before, before I talk about it, um, let's see, I'm glad you asked that question, Miss Jean. Uh, she said, do I do apostle work? So just a quick little story. Um, I actually did do apostle work. Um, I did an assignment, I want to say maybe about two, three weeks ago. I don't know, but it wasn't too long ago. And honestly, I wasn't doing them at first because personally, sometimes I just, I like to stay focused, but that, it was pretty easy, um, believe it or not. And the training that I know I had taken was I did Solutions by TJ. And then also I did um, Andre Hatchet Apostle training. And if you go on my Instagram, um, I actually did a live and I kind of talked about my story. So, Miss Jean, if you want to go to my Instagram, I'm the Notary Institutional Instagram. Also, you can go over there and you can check my stuff out. Or actually, you can go on my website on the notaryinstitution.com. And if you go all the way down to the bottom, you will see the Instagram link there. You can follow me on Instagram there. You can watch my video. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, someone else said. Regina said, that's what I need to know. Everybody want to know where, how to get started. Okay, Miss Regina, this video is for you. Miss Chris, oh, Miss Crystal Chris, oh, no, no, Christy Latrice Ford. You bought TJ course? Well, if you have questions, I'm not sure what your question is. You always welcome to go on the website and fill out a contact us form. Um, you can go to the notaryinstitution.com. North Carolina, how you doing, Miss uh, the heck, uh, Diane or Miss Allen? Hold on, I got something coming on my computer. All right, we've been on for about eight minutes. Hold on, I got something popping up over here. I didn't click this, and why is it showing up? <laughs> the news is up. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Let me see. I got my little checklist. I should have put it up here. That's how I know I haven't been live for a while, a very long time, because I don't even have it on here. So how many people in here, you know, you got your notary commission and where did you start at? You know, I just kind of curious because everybody starts at different phases. Some people take the route of being self-taught. Some people um, browse a lot of Facebook groups for knowledge. And, you know, there's nothing wrong, like, you know, with doing that. But I always believe that everyone should start with somewhere with a foundation where it's rel a reliable source 
that they can fall back on for information for the notary work. So the first thing I want to talk about was, um, I won't get to the comments in a little bit, but <laughs> the first thing I want to get started is when you first become a notary, you know, after this is after you have to your commission, like you already made a decision that you already bite, bite the bullet that you, this is what you're going to do, regardless of what's going on. The first thing you want to do after you get your commission is research your state notary laws. That is the first thing that you have to do. That is going to be the foundation for you moving forward in anything in this business. Now, where you get that information from will vary from state to state, but the NNA, let me put it up on, let me just put it on up. The nationalnotary.org, National Notary Association, they do have state-specific trainings for people. I always tell people there's nothing wrong with doing that training. Do the training so that you can understand your laws um, and how to be a notary within your state. Because the thing is, when you start getting out here in the social groups and stuff, you're going to see a lot of information out there. And some of that information may not apply to you as a notary in your state because those groups are full of people in different states. Everyone has every state has different laws on what notaries can do. Every state has different laws on what notaries can charge. So back then, back to go back into, you know, the training, you know, you also want to make sure that you're taking a training that is covering, you know, certain aspects of you being a notary. So one, you want to make sure some that covers uh, the laws. Um, a lot of the trainers will help you out with the laws for the most part. Um, also, the acknowledgments and giraffes or the type of notarial acts you want training that will help you understand what the acts are and how to use them in your state. Um, let me see. There's something else on here I wanted to. Oh, fees. I ain't write that on my list. I'm going to write that on here so I can have my recap. You want to understand notary fees. You want to understand how much you can charge, when you can charge, how you can charge, because every state, every state is different. You know, one question I know a lot of people ask, how much do you charge? And to be honest, it's hard for any person to tell someone what to charge because you really have to take it in account to your situation and your state laws. So before you get out here and subscribe to different communities, build your foundation of understanding your duties as a notary, understanding what you can and cannot do within your state as a notary, and understand honestly what you can charge in your state. Hey, <laughs> Candy. <laughs> you know, that that is so, so important. And once when you establish that foundation and you take a training just for that, then you can move on to the next thing. Now, the NNA, I'm just going to put the link in here. I don't have no referral link or nothing from the NNA, just letting everyone know. But I do believe that it is one training or one platform that they have going on over here that they cater to all states. And they at least give you the basic foundations of being a notary or if you want to do loan signing work. They give you that basic information. Or some states actually have the second have on training on their Secretary of State website also. That's never that's another thing. Uh, let's see. I think I had missed some comments. So Patricia says she purchased Mark Willis course. Okay. Now that goes into another thing, you know, and a lot of people start there. And you know what? I didn't start with Mark Willis when I had um when I was doing notary work, I didn't start with Mark Willis. But I did start with Carol Ray. Uh, what is I think she's notary to pro. And then too, you know, I'm just gonna bring this up too, since we're here. And another thing, you know, before you get started is when you're taking these trainings, understand, you know, the purpose of that person's training or whoever's giving the training, understanding, understand what you're supposed to take out of that training. Because, for example. I don't, I'm just going to say this. Mark Will's course is, he's teaching you how to get that direct business. His course is not necessarily, ooh, ooh, I'm sorry, I got to sit up. I got my back. Okay. 
Mark Wood course is necess not necessarily going to teach you 100% about the laws in your state. I mean, he is in California, so I'm sure he could help you out a little bit, but his course is not going to teach you that foundation of the laws 100% as far as I know. It's not teaching you that. His purpose is solely to teach you as a notary how to get direct work. Now, I know you bought Mark Will's course, Miss Patricia Turner. Um, I'm not here to throw salt on nobody, but you know, I know someone else personally that I train that I, I really like. Um, and her name is Jen. And if you check out one of my previous videos with uh Sign of Agent Marketing, uh Jennifer Neitzel, she talks about you know more practical ways on how you can go direct as a notary. And personally, I love her training. And that's just me. I, I loved it. I'm just going to be honest. It was very practical. I feel like anybody can do it in any state. It don't matter where you at. Anybody can take her training and gain something from it and possibly, <laughs> well, not even possible, get the clientele that they want for their business. So let's see. Let's see. I'm missing the comments. <laughs> I see your growth. Oh, thank you, Miss Candy. I appreciate that. Yeah, and nothing wrong with marks. Nothing wrong with marks. But just understand that whatever course you take, just understand the purpose of the course. Because not everybody course, you know, is going to everybody course has a different purpose. Some people courses, you know, are out there literally just solely to teach you the laws, teach you how to really be a notary, you know, so that way you don't face any type of lawsuits or anything down the line, making sure that you are performing within your notorial duties according to your state. All right, let's see. I have not been a only what you guys we don't need to be nervous. You know, sometimes you just gotta go out there and do it. You know, I was commissioned in October 2021 and have not started yet. And that's all right. You know, sometimes it takes people time to get started. But while you're waiting, you are nervous, you know, spend some time, you know, really studying in the laws. <clears throat> Understanding the type of IDs you can take. Understanding the different type of notorial acts, how to execute them. Because I'm going to be honest, a lot of the Secretary of State websites do really specify how to actually complete notorial acts. Sometimes you just have to take the time out and read and spend that time, but it's well worth it in the end. Because one thing about this notary business and this entrepreneurship in general, you are really your own boss. And there's not always going to be someone that you can call upon, you know, when you need something, when you don't understand something, like how you're at work. And if you're reading an email and you, and you don't understand it, you know, you, you can turn to your coworker like, hey, did you see that email? You know, and this business is not always going to be like that. Now, there are some people out there who create a notary buddy where they get somebody that they can bounce ideas off, but everything is still solely your responsibility at the end of the day. So always make sure that you take the time out to gain that knowledge on how to be a notary. What's her name again? Um, uh, Carol Ray. I'll type it in for you. Hey, Ms. Ebony. I just typed it in the chat for you, um, Miss Candy. Commissions, Citizen Snack TV. What? You got a YouTube channel? <laughs> I'm actually kind of curious in your channel now. All right. I've been dragging. I'm thinking I'm nervous. And it's okay, guys. You're going to be nervous. But sometimes you do got to push these on nerves because nerves is not going to get you anywhere. You're just going to be sitting. Okay. You just gonna be sitting. So sometimes you do gotta push through those nerves. You know, you don't gotta go all hard. You don't have to go out here and try to get all the signings. Just get one. Just get one signing. That's all I ask. If you just get one signing and do it, I'm happy. But sometimes you just gotta get out there and do it. All right. So we went over that state training, laws, acknowledgement fees. So the next thing. Um, for people, if you want to know where to start next, is understanding what services you want to provide. Because a lot of people had gotten to this business and became notaries. And I'm I'm speaking for my um my my citizens, my senior citizens, you know, my seasoned um people. Oh, how you doing, Miss Sylvia? 
Nice to see you. I've been out the loop. Um, but this message right here is really a lot of for my seasoned um, folks. You know, some of my seasoned folks, you know, and I'm talking about the age group. No, I'm not going to put an age on it. I'm not going to put an age on it. But some of my seasoned people here, they realize that they do not want to do loan signings as a notary. That's not a service they want to do at all. They don't want to print documents and be running around, sitting at people's houses. And you know what? It's completely understandable. You don't have to. There's other ways to make money with your notary business. You don't have to go out here and do all these loan signings. Because I'm going to be honest with you. These loan signings will burn you out. I want to say I was burnt out, but I definitely had got bored. I mean, I was doing them finished within 15 minutes, you know. When first it went from an hour to 45 to 30 to 20 to 15. Once when I realized something is just too easy for me, I'm not doing it no more and I get bored. And there's nothing wrong with that. So the next thing that you want to start off as when you become a notary is figuring out what services you're going to um, choose, do. And there's different services that you can provide. Um, I always tell people to start off with general notary work. Um, <clears throat> you can start off with general notary work. You can do loan signings either or. I would say start off with general notary work because that helps you with understanding your duties as a notary. And then you can do loan signings. But there's other services. And I have a, have a list here. And if there's any more in, in um, that people who would like to place in the comments, you're more than welcome to. But I'm just about to lay, name off what I have here on my list. So you could be a permit runner. And in case you do not know what that is, matter of fact, I'm going to put a link up too. But in case you don't know what a permit runner is, a permit runner is basically a person who help businesses or people who, let's say a business needs a permit for their business and they file it with the city or with the county that they're in. You will be the person who actually facilitate that. So you will have them fill out the paperwork and then you'll take that paperwork to the office um, get it filled out, check on it, check on the statuses, and then you'll bring the permit back to that company so that they don't have to do it. And sometimes some of them, um, some of the permits do have to be notarized also. So that's another service you can do. Um, you could do a postal, um, basically where people need their documents authenticated and taken to the secretary of state to have them apostled. That's another service you can offer. Yes, I'm streaming on YouTube. Um, you could do fingerprinting. I do have a video about fingerprinting services uh, where the guy actually went full detail about the business. Uh, where basically you can go around collecting people's fingerprints on these uh, FBI fingerprint cards. That's another service that you can offer. Um, I already spoke about loan signing works. You know, when you do loan closings. But with loan closings, it is a lot of work. It is a lot of it's an investment. You do have to purchase the supplies in order to do loan signings, and you have to have the work ethic for that. Um, oh, thank you for putting that on there. Um, general notary work is another big thing, and that's basically you just having your commission, traveling, notarizing documents to whomever need a notary. That's pretty much what general notary work is. And I'm glad you put that in there. Let me put write that on my list. I forgot that one. Let me see. Um, I'm glad you put that. Let me see. Uh, Miss the Patrick team or Tam, I think, well, I'm going to say Patrick, if that's all right. Um, the field inspections. So field inspections, when you go out, now there's different levels to field inspections, but it's Overall, you going out, taking pictures of a house, um, rather it could be the outside. It most likely will be the outside of the house. Some of them get deeper where you they want you to go inside. But for the most part, the field inspections is when you take a picture of the outside of the house. Or sometimes you'll actually go to a local business where you will actually take pictures of the business. You'll take pictures of the outside, the inside. And then also, too, you will take pictures of the permits that they're supposed to have hanging in their business to show that they are established business business because nine times out of ten when that happens it's because they're getting something from the bank whether it's a loan or some type of equipment but field inspections are really easy and it's an easy way to make money as a notary especially for people who do not want to do loan signings 
And you know, one thing I learned when I had first started, well, when I had started was I honestly thought that it was just loan signings. Like I didn't know about all this other stuff too much. It wasn't too much out there. It was, but it wasn't. It wasn't a lot of information. If I would have known that, I probably would never really did no no signings because it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And it's time. It's a lot of time. And some of the companies, I'm not going to say no names, some of them don't want to compensate you for that time. And you know what? We are in new times now. We are not working for pennies to dollars anymore. We are not doing it at all. But let me put the links in here for y'all for some of the jobs, if you all do not mind. So the first one I named off was the notary permit runner. I personally never taken this course or anything, but I do know that this person is like the only person that do the notary permit course. <laughs> yeah, Ebony, it's a lot of work. Low signings is a lot of work. It's it's time. It's it's a lot of it's a lot of time and a big investment. Now it is because it's getting more expensive, but it's definitely a lot of time. So here, I'm going to put the notary permit runner or notary permit runner. I talk a little fast, guys. So pay me no mind. How you doing, Mrs. Sydney Smith? But, you know, I know Mrs. Sydney Smith going to agree with me on this. I won't put it up here, but um, if you're going to do loan signings, you know, the goal is to try to go direct. And when I mean direct, to get your own direct clients, to get title companies calling you. And that's why I like Sam's program because she really teaches you how to build your own business in your own area, in your own community to get the clients that you want so that you don't have to rely on the signing companies. And matter of fact, and I said it earlier, here I did put the link in here for the program runner. And I did say it earlier on my other live about you know, us transitioning into getting our own clientele and trying our best not to rely on these platforms, you know, for our clients, a hundred percent. You know, we need to leverage these platforms. I'm glad they created them. I'm glad they're here, but we need to start creating our own business. We need notaries to be taking over that whole entire city. That's what we need. So the course is $49. Let me uh, do a little screen share. Ooh, woo, woo. All right, hold on. Let me see. I'm just about to... Uh, do -do 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 -do. Okay. Facts. Oh. I don't know why it's jumping like that. Okay, I did try to show y'all the screen, but y'all seen what just happened, right? There we go. So this is the um notary permit uh the notary permit runner course. Uh this this is the notary permit runner course, and this is from Send Notary. Oh, well, Miss Cynthia Alexander. Let me say her name correctly. Um, and she goes over how to get started. Oh, you can't, I can't, I can't see that. I don't know if it's just me. I can't even see this. Okay, there we go. Can y'all see that a little better? Because I could bear, I barely was able to see that just now. But this is, I guess, the outline of her course. But honestly, I have um had quite a few people taking the course, so I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. I believe it'll get you where you want to go. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah. She goes over everything. So she go over how to market, how you get paid, how much to charge. Okay, Miss Cynthia. Okay, guys. Make sure y'all get that. That's another service. Um, I'll be honest, I don't do that. I don't, I don't do that. I don't do that permit thing. You know, it could be a thought though. You know, everything I, I could think about doing it. If I do, um, Miss Nat, Miss uh Ms. Natalie Jean, I'll be honest, I'll let you know. I'll let you I'll make a video if I do, okay? But no, I don't. Sounds easy though. How you doing, Ms. Valerie? All right, let me go back up to these comments. So someone asked about, so I talked about the permit runner. Uh someone asked about fingerprinting. 
from your printing course, the only person that I know of that has a course that I have taken his course um, was Andre Hatchet. That's the only course I have taken. But if you, on my YouTube channel, well, first you do have to be a member. You have to be subscribed as a member on the paid member side. That video is up there of Mr. Dan literally breaking down the fingerprinting business for every state, how to get started. I mean, I'm going to be honest, it was just real deep what he had was going into with the fingerprint business. And I'm just going to let him be the expert in that. And that's fine. But I did take Andre Hatchet course on fingerprinting. So I had like an idea how to do it. I just, um, I'm cool. I'm cool. That's the great thing about entrepreneurship, to be honest. You really can just pick and kind of choose what you want to do and what you don't want to do. And it's nothing wrong with that. It is nothing wrong with that. You do what makes you happy at the end of the day. And that's what we all should do. If something really don't make you happy and you don't like it and there's too much stress on your body, you do not have to do it. You figure something else out yourself um let's see let's see let's see so miss crystal hopefully i did answer your question um answered that one maryland what part of maryland are you from miss valerie i'm i'm actually from maryland i'm born and raised in baltimore maryland what oh hold on do you have to pay sophie to get companies for field inspection no ma'am Miss Alfreda Gretti. Okay, Miss Coleman. No, I didn't. Oh, yeah. So let me go over the field inspection. So Mr. Richard Law, and we actually did a video on that um, with Mr. Richard Law. Let me see if I can go, get into it. I'm from I'm from Baltimore County. <laughs> I'm from Baltimore County. I live, I'm I'm from Brownstown. If, if, if you know, I'm I don't know what part of Baltimore County, where you at in Baltimore County, but I'm I'm from Baltimore County. All right, let's see. I want to pull up my video. That's a great feeling. Love the video, your own videos. Oh, you're in Pikesville. Okay, you, you're not too far. You know, you weren't too far. All right, hold on. Let me see. I got to pull up. I know I have not been on. Oof. Dang it. How do I? Okay, there we go. I'm just getting the link for everybody. Jerron. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you. That's another job. Thank you. All right, so that is another job too. I forgot about that one. That now that's something I really didn't get into. Um, but I did research it. Um, process serving. So that's when you're basically you're serving uh documents, you know, papers to people. And me personally, that's not something I wanted to get into. But the thing is about process serving. It is different for each state on how to get started. And I want to say there was a guy on Clubhouse that I met that that was kind of his lane. And he gave some tips on how you can get started into that business, how to market. Um, but, you know, the process serving is a big thing. Some people do. I personally just didn't do it. Um, but that is a never service that you can provide. But ultimately, you know, for your notary business, you know, you should have multiple services for your business but when you go about doing these services you know for each service that you do you want to make sure you research that service and how what how does it work in your particular state you know how like how does it actually work because here like for example process serving here in texas it's different it's you actually have to pay for a course you have to take training and you have to uh, sign up with the Secretary of State website or something. It's actually a, 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 a expense. It's almost like becoming a loan signing agent um, to become a process server here in Texas. So I put the field inspection video uh, link up on here. I don't know if y'all, if you all will be able to see it. 
Why am my internet moving all janky? All right. So there's the link. Um, hopefully you can be able to click it, but this is the link for the field inspection with Mr. Richard Law, Sophie. Um, also, too, what Carmelisha was talking about that ad. Um, he actually has like a flyer that he creates for people that you can use, and he calls it a notary resume. And if you use my link right here, this is an affiliate link. I believe it's a dollar cheaper, if I'm not mistaken. Thing is like, I don't know what if he changed it or not. But it is free to sign up on the website. He did used to have free training, but as far as I know of, he does not have any training. But as a matter of fact, let me just put all his links in here. Because honestly, this is a very popular video. I'm going to put everything in here. All right, I want to answer your question because I know someone asked, asked me one. You don't make a whole lot of money, but I looked at it like, is this something additional that you can do, you know, if, if you're on your way to an appointment or something of that nature? Uh, who's this? Miss uh, Patricia. Mm, that's not Patricia. Who's it? Patina? Or Miss Allen, if you don't. Miss Allen. But you know what? There's people, I know I'm not going to speak on it, but there, I think there's people are making more money than what we may know in field inspection. Because I think Griff, Unc Griff, uh, if you want to go by, <laughs> he does a lot of field inspections too. So let's see, let's see. I see someone had asked me something and I already answered that question. Oh, I kind of want to did want to double back to Jerron. So, Mr. Jerron had motivated me to come back to you too. Well, I wasn't going to be gone anyway, but I did take a little break. But Jerron, he had posted something. I want to say like a few weeks ago, and he really motivated me to get up on here again and start, you know, providing again. So, thank you, Jerron. <laughs> and everyone say thank you to Jerron and make sure you subscribe to Jerron's channel. Jerron is in North Carolina. He has a lot of information for notaries. Um, make sure you subscribe to him because he has it. What you doing? A vlog, a vlogmas series or something coming up soon. So make sure you subscribe to Jerron because Jerron is very uh, knowledgeable. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. All right, let's see, let's see. Um, Demetria said there's a notary on Facebook and IG named Shanika. She teaches in, I think she has a YouTube channel. Okay, I gotta, I have to look, take a look because I don't know who that is, Miss Demetria. But Miss Demetria, I do appreciate you um, putting that out there for us. I do, but I'm gonna be honest, guys. I, I definitely have taken a break off of social media, like. It's a lot. It's a lot. And it's distracting, you know. So sometimes, you know, you do have to pull yourself off of social media so you don't get distracted and focus on what's important. And one thing is I'm not in other people's business, but I do appreciate that, Miss Demetria. All right. Why is this thing blinking on the side of my on the side of my vein? All right. Um Spend more on gas. I was doing it some time ago. The money was good, but now the payment is lower. Absolutely. The payment is lower. That's why I said, if you want to do something like that, it got to be, it, it has to be en route to something. It, it has to be on my way, if, if that makes sense. I'm, I don't, I don't think, I don't think anyone should like, oh, hold on. My internet's going now. Hold on. All right, let me know. Am I still there? Because this is said it's having a bad connection. Let me turn off, take this off. Let me stop. Because you know, I noticed when I stopped sharing that screen, it was started. Okay, there we go. It's, it's nothing wrong with doing it, but I don't think anyone should just wake up out their bed to do some of the field inspections, especially for the prices. Because sometimes it's only for like $25, $30. $45 at the most, you know? Um, who's this? Miss Mercer. I'm not even going to try the first name. So say hello. 
from Austin. I'm nervous too, but I still been getting, I still been hitting a set, but have yet to get any loan signing. Just a few general notary jobs. I'm ready to jump out, jump out there, scared and and all, just to get started. And that's okay, Miss Mercer, but. I'm not sure. Are you signed up to get loan signings? You know, I'm not sure what you have done. If you want Ms. Mercer, because I'm actually here. Someone, you know what? Someone asked me where I was at. So I'm in Colleen. So I'm actually an hour away from Austin, 45 minutes to an hour, depending on people, depending on the driving speed. Um, but in order to get loan signings, you have to be set up on those platforms to get them at the very beginning. So, Ms. Mercer, if you don't mind, um, go to my website, go to the notaryinstitution.com and go to the contact us link. I believe it might be at the bottom or no, what? No, it's actually on the home page. Go to the contact us page, fill that out, and I'll try to help you out um, because you are in this local area. Uh, the money ain't big. No problem. All right. I don't know what's going on with the Internet. All right. All right. So we already talked about the jobs you can do. Uh, field inspection. I appreciate y'all letting me tell me about. I forgot about that on my list. Next thing you want to get started after after you take your training, after you understand, you know, what services you're going to provide as a notary. The next thing you want to do is create a marketing strategy for yourself. And now you want to create. I will say two kind of two different marketing strategy, but create a marketing strategy. And in that marketing strategy, you want to have a plan on how you're going to do, how you're going to go out and put your brand out there. Because ultimately you want to brand yourself as the notary for your area, you area. You want everybody to know that if they ever need a document notarized, Spread like that's how honestly that's how, honestly how you really get build your clientele locally. You want everybody in your immediate area to know that if they need something notarized, they know exactly you are the person to call. You're the only person to call, even though you're not the only person. You want to brand yourself as the only person that does notary work. That that's what you want to do. Like you literally want to brand yourself and how you can start off by doing that. Um, one way you can start off by doing it is in these Facebook groups. Whenever, whenever someone says they need a notary, just call me like, Hey, I'm a notary. I can do it. You don't gotta, you know, you don't have to be on Facebook begging for people or, or anything of that nature, but just putting yourself out there like that will help brand you as a notary. Um, also, in your marketing strategy, you want to make sure that you create your website. You need a website. At this day and age, you need a website for your business, especially if you want to expand it and you want, you know, you really want to build your own business and you want to brand yourself in your community, you have to have a website. Most times when someone's looking for a notary, they go online to do that. Now, visiting uh, local businesses, you can do that too. Just letting them know. Sometimes it's not always about, you know, selling your service, especially when you're walking around, you know, telling people your notary or it's not always about that person using your service. It's about branding yourself. It's about letting people know like, hey, I am the notary for this area, period, point blank. You know, that's just how you have to be. So that way, whenever someone needs a notary at a business, they know like, oh, this girl came in here or this person came in here and they're the notary, call them, you know, give them your card. So next step, create a marketing strategy. I always tell people, make sure you start with a website. Um, after you have your website, you know, start with your homepage. Normally get that built out. I want to do another video on what should go on your website and stuff, but that's going to be later down the line. Um, start with your website and then after you create your website, you want to make sure you get listed online on these directories. And when I mean directories, there's a lot of them out there. So you have Google, my business, you have Yelp, you have yellow pages, you have white pages. Um, another thing too, you want to get listed on every online notary directory that there is. So snap docs, you can get listed on there. 
you don't even have to take assignments from there. Just, just put yourself on there, you know, notary cafe, um, whatever. If there's a, there's a lot of director notary directories. Now one, two, three notary is another directory. Um, and the reasoning for doing that is because one that will honestly 110% help you with your online presence. If you have a website, and you have, and you're listed everywhere on the internet as a notary. When people search notary, Google going to know, okay, this person is a notary. This person is a legit notary. This person might be as a working notary. And it's going to rank you up a little bit higher than others who are not on all these platforms and leveraging them. You don't even have to take a single assignment, but at least be on there. Have your name on there. Have your business name on there as the notary so that you can be branded as a notary for your area. So that is the goal. You want to be the go-to notary for your area. Like the same way how UPS pop up, you need to pop up like that too. UPS branded themselves 100%. They are, whole, they are a shipping company. Now they added notary services and they branded themselves as notary services also. Um. Oh, so directories. Oh, and also social media. And with marketing, it's not a, it's not a, this platform is going to bring me all of this. All the thing is about marketing, all these platforms, everything works hand in hand with each other, believe it or not. Um, so being listed on directories and then also your social media. Now, when you are on social media, you have to figure out what is your purpose? Are you there to talk to other notaries or are you there to brand yourself in your community as the go-to notary. If you're there to brand yourself as the go-to notary in your community, you really don't need to be following in a whole bunch of notaries in other states or even in your area. You need to follow other local businesses that are in your area. Other real estate agents, you need to put you need to put yourself as that notary in that community. Just start following them. Start following them, make content uh, you can make content. I can, I can probably give you some content ideas, make content for that area. And that's, and that's exactly what you do, but using social media, it's all about how you use these tools because every tool is useful. If you just have to know exactly how to use the tool for you so it can work for you. And I know a lot of people do get on Instagram and they really, you know, they follow other notaries and that because their purpose is probably just to meet other notaries for notary education. But if you want to use Instagram for your business to make money, you need to stick with people in your area for the at the very beginning. And then you could branch out maybe and follow other people. But at the very beginning, you need to be very strategic about who you follow and who you engage with on these platforms. All right. Uh What's this? I'm gonna make sure I don't miss no comments because somehow I know YouTube will block my comments, and I have to go here and make sure I don't get agreed, approved. I should say. All right, so they're good. They're good to go. All right, next step is next thing when you're getting started, you want to make sure that you. Get your supplies, okay? Get your supplies. Get your supplies. Your notary supplies. I actually wrote a blog. Let me see. I just had the link up for you. I actually wrote a blog of all this, of the supplies that you would need to help you get started in this business. Here it is. Let me get the link. I would share the screen, but I think I was having issues with the internet when I did that. <laughs> yes, for 40 pictures. Oh, you talking about the um the filter special. Yeah, they don't charge it. They don't pay a lot. I don't know if your comments came in late or what. Okay, there we go. Or if I'm lagging. I might be lagging. It's what my son call it. So I made a notary signing agent supply list. Let me see if I can share. The, I really do want to share the screen now. I'll be honest. So the error occurred. Let's go. Yes. All right. Let me share the screen. All right. So this is the loan signing agent supply list. 
Next thing, after you get started, you want to get started with some supplies. After you figure out what services you're going to take, you know you're going to do the marketing strategy. That's a must. Then you're going to figure out the supplies that you need. I mean, you really don't have to spend too much time on that. So I kind of broke it down um, in the sense of, there's, I did put it in little categories, but I have it set up to where you no know, like notary training books, this different books that you can take as education wise to help you, you know, grow your knowledge as a notary. Um, got business cards on here, notary bags, and this list will be updated. Um, I'm gonna say by Friday, this list will be updated. So sometimes just come on here and just check on this list because I will be updating it periodically because there's so many different things going on, but you want to make sure you have the right supplies. So here we got a notary bag, um, pins. I'll tell you the type of pins you will need. This little miscellaneous items that you need for your notary business. I think I forgot some uh, envelopes on here. I sure did. I need some envelopes. But I did put the link inside the chat. This is just some things that you will need as a notary. And so most of this stuff, I think you can order on Amazon for the most part. Oh, matter of fact, I even go into the website. So this whole entire thing goes deep into everything that you would need to get started you know, as a notary, as far as supplies. And there's more things on there. Everyone, anyone's more than welcome to send me um, anything they think should be on this list. And I will make sure I'll put it on here by the category. Um, and it does break down everything that you um, will need and why you would need it. All right, let me start sharing that. All right, went over supplies. Oh, uh, what's this? Oh, and another thing when you're getting started is, you know, I know we did talk about this noise is that. Um, I know we talked about, you know, all kinds of different services and everything that you can provide, but also keep in mind when you're providing these services, you know, one thing that you really do need to set up is making sure you have some type of system set up so that you can handle all these services. Because one, you're not going to be able to answer your phone all the time. So you want to create some type of automations. You know, that's why you need the website. On the website, you want to really break down, you know, how the service work. Um, it will alleviate some of the questions that people may ask. And maybe you want to have a system where people can submit their documents ahead of time to you. So you can even know if you can notarize it. Um, you can have a set up a appointment link on there so that people can make an appointment with you. You can just update your schedule so that way you're not always by your phone um, trying to answer all the calls. Because sometimes, just realistically, you are, you're going to miss calls. That's just life. You know, you're going to miss calls. You might sleep, be sleep, taking care of the kids or family. And who wants to have their phone always attached to them, you know, all the time? So you want to make sure, too, that you create some type of systems where people can make appointments with you for certain services. And you want to have certain procedures in place. Another thing, too, you want to have when you're getting started is think about different policies that you need. Um, think about if you're going to have a return policy, um, take the time and write that out. Um, because those are some things that, you know, they're little tedious things, but they're things that we forget. And sometimes we don't think about them until it happens. You know, we don't think about it until someone may ask for a refund. You know, so... With that being said, you will make sure you create some type of automated automated system to where as though people can still contact you for service. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to miss no clientele because you just don't want to have your phone number and people call you. And really what's going to happen is once when they call you, they're just going to turn around and call somebody else. But sometimes if you have a contact form that people can fill out or people know that, OK, I can't make an appointment. It's not guaranteed, but at least I can wait on this person. And I'll get something back shortly. You know, so that's another important thing that you should have when you are starting your business. Um, if there's anything I missed or anything we should go over, let me know in the comments. I've been here for about an hour. It's about almost 930. I'm about to head out. But everyone, I appreciate you staying on. I will be back with some more videos, some more content to help notaries with getting started. If you have anything, you're more than welcome to leave them in the comments. Make sure you go to my website. 
um, the notary institution.com. And there's a lot of different information on there. I have blogs about how to get started, how to become a notary, um, how to market your business, how to get clients, all kinds of things on that website. Um, also to make sure you subscribe, hit that bell button at the bottom and one to be notified when I go live. I'm going to be here more consistently posting videos. Thank you to Mr. Drawn. Um, let's see. Is there a strategy for contacting? So just to answer this question, is there a strategy for contacting title and attorney offices for doing Texas cash outs? Ms. Mercer, I'm glad you had asked, asked that question because I actually have a person that could do that. No strategy or nothing, ma'am. It's all about who you know. So let me just put that link in there. And, and let me, give me a second. I'm about to put the link if you don't mind. Let me, um, but see, you're, but you know what? I don't think it matter. I don't think they have a matter because this person, hold on, that was fast. Yay. <laughs> you're welcome. Please me. What the, is this a real person? Ms. Duchess, can you clarify what you're talking about, please? It's a lot of trolls on the internet lately. Actress Sandra Nelson, how you doing, ma'am? <laughs> mm. I found it right here. Hold on. Boom. Somebody asked about the cash outs. Copy link address. Mom. Um, Miss Duchess, I'm gonna be honest. I do not see your comment above. Uh, let me give me a second. So sometimes I don't know if you know, but sometimes YouTube does block comments. So you may be able to see it, but I don't see it. I believe it's $19.99 a month, Miss Ford. I mean, yes, Miss Ford. Did she yes? So let me see, Miss Duchess. I'm gonna be honest. YouTube does block a lot of uh, a lot of the comments. So if you posted something and I don't respond, now I'm gonna tell you nine times out of ten, I don't. I really don't see it. And let me go on here on my end. Yeah, Miss Duchess, I don't see your question that you um, asked me. Okay, it's it's not showing on my end. It might be showing on yours, but it's blocked. It's showing it might be blocked or something. I'm not sure what you had asked or what you could have said. Let me see. Sano order is asking for a YOL. What's that? Um, I'm not sure what you're speaking of. Um, are you are you trying to sign up? You may have to go to sign an order. And ask them, um, Miss Duchess, to be honest with you. Let me see. I just want to look at something. <sighs> Let me see. Because sometimes these comments. Okay. Well, yeah, your comment probably, I don't know what happened to it. Um, I know that tomorrow, I think on Clubhouse, I'm not sure anybody's Clubhouse, I think on Clubhouse tomorrow. They're doing, they're going to be talking about sign on order. So that might be a great time for you to get your question answered, um, Miss Duchess. Okay, Miss Duchess, can you fill out contact? Well, you could fill out a contact form. Maybe I got to talk to you on the phone a little bit, but um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, I couldn't help you. Or maybe you can contact sign in order if they have a um help desk down there. I'm not just keep doing that. But yes, I want to go ahead and hop off. I'll see you all again soon with some more videos. Um, make sure you like this video. Um, and also too in the comments, let me know if you're here watching the replay, just type replay in there. Um, and also too, give me some ideas so I can better help you all and serve the notary community. And I am out. Bye.